Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Well today I am taking you on a chocolate extravaganza. So last weekend we took our godchildren to Cadbury World in Birmingham. They have been so excited about this trip. It was one of our Christmas presents to them. Uh, we did them a little voucher and said that we were taking them on a little trip. And so they have been waiting since Christmas day to go to Cadbury World and the day finally arrived and they stayed over the night before. They were so excited. Um, I did them little breakfast boxes in the car. So we set off at about 7.30 in the morning. So it was quite early for them, but they were fine. They were absolutely fine just full of adrenaline excited um so yeah we set off about 7 30 our slot wasn't until half past 10 um and so yeah we found the whole experience to be great really really easy i've took some snippets of like the pricing that kind of thing um just so you're aware and obviously i've vlogged a little bit along the way but it was very busy so some of it is a little bit limited um but on the whole i think you can spend a good three hours at Cabri World. It's not an all day thing. You can just spend like the morning there and have a really good time. It's educational, it's fun. They've got the cocoa bean ride, which we all enjoyed. Um, they've got interactive things so the kids can really get involved with making the chocolate, that kind of thing. Um, but it's really also informative. And actually one of our godchildren is actually learning about chocolate right now. So she went back into school on Monday feeling like, a brain box because she learned all about chocolate about John Cadbury and how he founded Cadbury's and uh, where the chocolate comes from in the Amazon that kind of thing and so she really enjoyed it after we went to Cadbury World we also went to a little cafe for some lunch uh, called Chance and Counters and it is a games cafe so they've just got all of these games all on the wall that you can select from and you can play games as you have a drink and have some lunch so the cafe is based at the custard factory which is another part of Birmingham uh, which we went to and as we were walking to the cafe you can see all of the like graffiti and murals and everything and uh, our other goddaughter who is really into art found it fascinating so she really enjoyed that. Uh, what I will say about the cafe though is it's not really geared up for kids I feel like more older kids rather than younger kids. Um, you are allowed to take children in there but I just found that it's not really for younger kids, like the menu's not really geared up for younger children, um, although the milkshakes are epic. The girls had an Oreo milkshake each and it looked amazing. Um, but they still had a good time nonetheless, but just something to bear in mind, not something for littlies, but older children. But before we begin, today's vlog is very kindly sponsored by Readly. If you've not heard of Readly, they are an online magazine and newspaper subscription app, which looks like this. And they have over 5,000 different magazines and newspapers that you can access at any time you can download them as well so if you're traveling it's perfect for travel we're now of an age where we consume all different types of media through our devices now we stream music where we used to go and buy cds we watch tv shows movies via streaming apps and so this is just the same thing but just in a magazine form so where you used to go and buy a magazine in a shop you now have it readily available at your fingertips on your device and this is just the perfect idea because if you are a commuter like me this is going to be perfect if you are on the train. We're going to Edinburgh in a few weeks time and this app is just going to be so amazing because I can access all of the magazines that I would normally buy at the airport. And if you're not traveling or commuting, then this is just, if you just want to just take some time out for yourself at home, sit in the garden now the weather's nice, uh, or just sit and chill out for 10 minutes on the sofa and read a magazine. So the great thing with this app is you can actually tailor it to what you're interested in. So you can search through all of the different categories. So they've got here um, animals, equestrian, arts and culture, celebrity entertainment, comics, craft, DIY, uh, family, parenting, fashion and beauty, food and drink. They've got a kids section. So this would be great for kids on car journeys as well. You can even search for keywords as well. So if you're interested in a certain thing, for instance, if you are interested in, I don't know, if you want to, if you want to learn how to knit, knitting for beginners so i just literally typed in the word knit and there we go we've got the magazine and you can actually just browse through it like a proper magazine you can have it this way if you want to but i prefer to have it portrait like you're just reading through a proper 
magazine you can zoom into sections if you want to focus on certain things um and then the good thing is you can download it if you want to download it for if you're traveling and you can also add it i'm going to add this to my favorites add it to your favorites and then if we go to my favorites so here is a look at my favorites that i've got saved so we've got home style magazines because i do like that um, i've also added bbc good food because i want to find some nice easter recipes with easter coming up there's the knitting magazine that i just added i've got your dog which i'm gonna have a nosy at as well so i've got that in my favorites ready to read later um i've got obviously some fashion magazines some gossip magazines because who doesn't like a gossip magazine uh, also want to mention that you can also access international magazines so i've got ok usa so you can catch up on your gossip from overseas another great feature of the app is you can have sharing so family sharing on the app for up to five people so chris can sit and read a i don't know a he's really into film so he might like a film magazine i can be reading my celebrity gossip and mum can also access and do puzzles because she can also have puzzles on there she's really into playing her word games and things like that so this is a really diverse great app for you to use and it's only 9.99 a month which you can cancel at any time and the good thing is i have an exclusive code that will give you six weeks for free i will leave the link below in my description box so if you want to access the app for free for six weeks just go and click below and go and check it out and i hope you enjoy so thank you very much for readly for very kindly sponsoring today's video it is a great app uh, which i'm very much enjoying using anyway i am now going to go and read up on all the yummy Easter food and chocolate cake whilst you enjoy all of the chocolate and delights of Cadbury World. And I really hope that you enjoy the vlog. So let's get started. wait for our slot um our slot isn't until half past 10 obviously you queue up in order so they're letting 20 past 10 people in um and then we'll just scan our tickets we've got a goodie bag full of chocolate <laughs> for the journey around rare snakes <laughs> So we're now in the Aztec learning about where the cocoa bean comes from or the cacao bean. Is that when they found chocolate? 600 AD? Drop it. Get rid of it. Here we have Ball Street in Birmingham. The lady was just telling us that's um, St James's in London, which is where like affluent people used to drink hot chocolate. Uh, well, men, affluent men, used to gamble and drink hot chocolate, and that's when John Cadbury came up with the idea of making actual chocolate and then it developed in Victorian Birmingham at Ball Street. It's really cool here. I like all the old shops. Where are we going? The time tunnel. Oh, is this like chocolate? Yeah, maybe. Chocolate through the ages. I think we are heading into the actual factory to see how the chocolate's made. I think. 
look at all the old moulds. That's nice and colourful. Yeah, like the whole nut mould. Look at the Easter egg moulds that they used to use. Oh, this is cool. You can actually make some stuff. Just got to join the queue. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go, little ones. Imagine those long machines. How did they pull it down? On the marble. Spreading it out. Let's go wash our hands then. <laughs> Time for the cocoa bean ride. Feels like we're at Disney. <laughs> all the Cadbury's adverts throughout the years. Oh my god, look at all the old tins. Look at the Rosie's tin. Why in like tin? Because that's cocoa. Oh, that's coffee. No, it's coffee, look. Cadbury's coffee, and that's cocoa. Oh, yeah. Mm. The characters on the packet. What were Cadbury's buttons originally called? I don't know. What were they called? Does it tell you? Oh, little Cadbury chocolate Cabri drops. Uh, who remembers that? Food and nut cake. Yeah, but it's supposed to be like an Easter egg. Uh, I actually don't know. <laughs> That's trippy. So we are finished the tour and we're now in the shop. Oh, mugs. Oh, I like that one. Oh, look, you can get a fridge magnet. Do you want to get a fridge magnet for home? They've got a factory shop here. With, um, Odds and sods. Oh, I think Chris is spending some money. What they got? Ten curly whirlies for one pound ninety. Ten fudges. <laughs> Cadbury Cafe in here. <laughs> Snack bar. I think they do chocolate pizza in here. <laughs> I'm 
such a meals here out of interest. Harry Potter was cheaper. Yeah, Harry Potter was cheaper, wasn't it? Yeah, I might do some large drink actually. No, actually. Yeah, that's they do kids meals. They're just like big, aren't they? Oh, kids nuggets. Oh, kids is 6 30. Oh, there you go. I see. Kids nuggets. I see it now. I see it. Well, I'm not sure what I managed to vlog in there. I did some snippets, but have you had a good time? Yeah. Yeah? What was your best bit? Uh, Kogo Rai 4D. Oh, for, yeah, 4D. the 4D experience is really good. I couldn't vlog any of that, obviously, but um, that's really, really good. And like seeing how all the chocolate's made is really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So we've had a really good morning at Cadbury World, and now we are going to what's it called? Chance Encounters. Chance Encounters. It's a cafe where there's just loads of board games that you can just pick from and play games while we have some lunch. So that'd be nice. Let's go. So we are now in the custard factory, part of Birmingham, um, which is where Chance Encounters is. And we're just looking at all the funky graffiti that's everywhere. Some people are really talented, aren't they? Oh, Ooh, look at this funky shop. There's do some really cool bits in there. Oh, here we go. We're at Chant Encounters. Here it is. Oh my goodness, what games are we going to get? What do you fancy playing? What's that? Crazy Donuts? Oh, Harry Potter game. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, what else have they got? Jenga. They've got Rummy Cup. What have they got? Rummy Cup. What? I've never played that. The girls have gone for an Oreo milkshake each. Looks amazing. Ellie's already devoured the biscuit. <laughs> Wake up, time to win. 